Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a very fun unboxing for Fairy Loot's Young Adult June 2023 box. Very excited. Uh, it is very early in the morning. This is my first day back from my parents' house. <laughs> I only really did minimal filming while I was there because I didn't really want to do anything booktube while I was there. So I did read a lot so I did update in the vlog that I'm finishing up because I'm actually done that vlog but I haven't done like all the outros etc whatever but <laughs> I am a little out of practice like I feel out of practice talking about this but yeah we're gonna be opening a fairy loot box I think this is not the one that matches the fairy the owl crate book I think the owl crate book match is next month I'm not 100% sure so let's check out the theme because it'll be very obvious if uh, it matches by the theme. Here is our little sneak peek. Yeah, this is not the same one that matches Alcrate, but I do know what this one is. This was in my anticipated releases of June books. So that was in there. So I'm excited about this. I love that it's the Little Mermaid and we just had the new Little Mermaid movie come out. I think that was really smart of them to kind of plan it that way. If they did, they might not have even played it that way. <laughs> but yeah, this is June 2023 from The Depths. So we will look at the spoiler card at the end. And this is our little sneak peek. There's a lot of fun looking stuff in here. This looks, this looks different. So let's check out what that is first. It's like, it's very beachy vibes, which I obviously is kind of the point because it seems like it's supposed to be like a water box. It says, wave goodbye to makeup, reusable face pads. Okay, that's really cool. I've actually been wanting to try out reusable, like cleansing face pads. I really like the bag this comes in because it's kind of like got this like clothy feeling to it. So you can keep the face pads in it, which is really nice. So, oh, that's so neat. Okay, so the outside has this really cool wave pattern. I love that. And then you have a very soft face pad on the inside. That is so nice. It's so soft. <laughs> it's so soft. I feel like I would have to look up instructions. They all look the same. There's one, two, three, there four, five. There are five face pads that I can see in there. That's awesome. That's really neat. I like that. That is a different item. Haven't gotten that from a box yet. So I always love getting brand new items because I feel like it's really hard to come up with new items. So I think that's pretty creative of them. The next item in the box is another little box and it says Fairy Loot Pirate King Tea Strainer designed by Blanca Design. So this most likely is going to be daughter of the, of the Pirate King, potentially. That seems like it would be right. And it just has a very cute nautical theme on the box. I always hate throwing away these boxes. Fairy Loot is really like hurting my uh, collecting gene, <laughs> what they call a hoarding gene, because I don't want to get rid of any of the boxes, but I do. I throw away all the boxes because it makes me panicky and I'm like, oh, but I could use it for this. No, <laughs> throw the box away. You don't need it. <laughs> okay, so I don't, I haven't been drinking a lot of tea lately, but I can, you can always use a tea strainer. But this is definitely an item we've gotten quite a few times in boxes, so it's not like the most impressive thing. But, I mean, it's nice. I don't love that I have pieces of metal coming off of it. That's not fun. It's obviously very attached, though. It's not going to um, come out in the actual drink. So that would be like the biggest concern for something like this, is it would come off. But it's not going to. It is. It is attached on there, but... So it's just a plain tea strainer, just that. And then you have a cool design that is going to be really hard to focus on because of the lighting, but it's pretty. There's, am I gonna get the writing in here? Kind of, it's hard to read. It's even hard to like look at right here. It's a bold and stupid move. I like it. Yeah, so Trisha, it says Trisha Levenseller, daughter of the Pirate King. So there you go. This is Daughter of Pirate King. That's really cool. I was okay with those books. I actually got rid of my copies because they were just fine for me. But uh, I think she also wrote The Shadows Between Us, which I actually really liked. I really like that one. Next item, I believe we have a throw pillow cover. Yep. Oh, but this is really nice. This is definitely, um, oh my gosh, I cannot remember the name of this book suddenly. Like, I picture the book, I picture the fairy loot version of it, but I can't remember the name of it. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I know what this book is. <laughs> Why can't I remember what it's called? Uh, it's Under the Sea, something like that. But this is gorgeous. I love the color scheme for this. 
It's stunning. I love the very barely visible dragon you have right now. That is so cool. Oh, I love it. I love the themes of this. It's so pretty. Yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous. The girl who fell beneath the sea. That's what it was. Okay. I cuz I could remember the dragon on the side. Like cuz there's there's basically the dragon and there's a dragon on the side of the fairy loot cover and it's just like the prettiest cover and it matches this. So, I was like what is it? <laughs> oh, I forgot these have tags. Beneath the sea cushion cover. Oh yeah, so they, they I, I wouldn't have gotten it from that. <laughs> Cause I need like the first part of it, not the last part of it. So the girl fell beneath the sea. I really like that book. I think I gave it like a four or four and a half. I love nautical themed book boxes. I don't know, something is very like beachy and vacation-y about it. And they're just so much fun to open. Okay, next item. Oh, it's quite big. It's gotta be like a plate or a trinket dish, right? Okay, this looks really cool. The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi. I really want to read this book. I've heard really great things about it. And it is a plate designed by Michael Alcano Design. I think it's, well, I think it might be Michaela. Michaela Alcano Design. I really love their designs. So now I'm like, ah, what does it look like? I'm so excited. I have a couple of their like book covers on things. They're amazing, amazing designer. Uh, okay, so it's just like the design on the outside. pretty oh my gosh that looks so cool i haven't read the adventures of mina of amina al Sarafi, so i don't know like the symbolism here but that's gorgeous my husband also likes when i get plates because he's like i love using them they're pretty <laughs> they have pretty designs oh that is so pretty and i like that it's exactly uh, everything that's happening over here is happening over here. What is that? Parallel. They're exactly uh, mirror images of each other. That's so cool. Oh, except there. The e the, those are different. Oh, I guess that's a little different too. Okay, never mind. Not mirror images. It's close though. It's very close because I saw it with the fish. The fish are the same. That is so pretty. I love that. And then on the back, it just says, I love that they put this microwave and dishwasher safe and a fairy loot exclusive so that's exciting i really really like that i love when we get plates i feel like plates are like the most usable of usable items and you can put gorgeous gorgeous designs on them so the box also had that on the back which is pretty cool oh i kind of wish that that had been on there i love octopi they're so cool okay next item are we done with items i think we're done with items they give us five items this time that's that's a they don't do that anymore really they do what is it they do four yeah so uh they do give us tarot cards i'll get to that in a second but we have the next Next collectible mythological bookmarks. I it's been so long since we've got some of these that I totally forgot that these like are like part of the collection. So that is so cool. This has obviously got to be King Triton. That's a really cool rendition of him. That's so cool. It's either King Triton because he's got the Triton, but it could be Poseidon. Oh, that is so cool. Because anytime I see King Triton, he has because uh, he's a merman. So I feel like this could be either Poseidon or or King Triton. Oh, that is so cool. I love that. It's stunning. And they're, it's foiled. Oh, it's not coming across. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's the blue foiling that she got on the top in there. So that's awesome. And then we have, hmm, I don't know this one. Also foiling. Hers is gold, I think. Yeah, hers is gold. I don't know this one. Peacock feathers and a water dish. Is this like, uh, for some reason it makes me think it's one of the, like the Zodiacs because you know that like pouring Pisces, but I don't think that's what it's supposed to be. But it's stunning either way. I like that it matches the other one. So I'm gonna have to look up what these are, but I, these are my favorite bookmarks. I think they're so pretty and I'm so glad that there's like a full collection of these. Okay, so now we have the tarot cards. I feel like this has got to be Achilles. This is Song. I feel like this is Song of Achilles. So we have the Ten of Stars. Let me cover my face so it actually focuses on it. I feel like it likes focusing on my face because I'm so freaking pale, so I glow in the light. <laughs> I glow in the sunshine too. It's a problem. So it hates focusing on stuff when my face is like a freaking beacon in the background. So I think that's Patrocles. I know I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. And then is this Achilles? Nine of stars. 
gorgeous artwork. Like, I absolutely love the artwork. I have, again, have not read Song of Achilles, but again, don't know if that actually is Song of Achilles, but I have a very strong inkling that it is. So, but we'll check that at the end, but we are moving on to the book. First, you need to get all of the goodies out of the book as usual. We have the bookmark, which I always love getting. We have the fairy scoop, which we will check very quickly after we look at the book. And then we have the author letter with this gorgeous art print. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. That's so cool. Does she have gold eyes? That is so cool. Okay, so I assume this is our main character in our book. So let's check out what the book is. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting because I don't have a Lumicrate. Like a Lumicrate doesn't have their bags anymore, so I don't do like... Spoiler for them, but Fairy Loot still has it. So here's a little bit of a spoiler for the sprayed edges. And that looks so cool. <laughs> that looks so cool. I am so excited to see what the other side looks like. Oh my gosh, that looks good. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's this way. I feel like they've been upside down lately. So I'm glad I checked. Here is the book. Okay. I love that. <laughs> I love that. I don't know if they have a different UK version than the US version, but I will quickly pop up the US version. And then if there's a UK version, I'll pop up the UK version. But I know what the US version looks like. And I know it's that woman on the cover. And I liked it fine, but I really like this. I think this looks so cool. And I love that she's in the center, like diving down. There's something about this that reminds me of, ooh, I got some stuff. Okay, good. I was worried. There was like a thing right there. No, um, there's something that reminds me of the scene in Hercules when Hercules is diving to go get Meg. That's what this like scene reminds me of. I don't think it has anything to do with that, but it looks really, really cool. Words sting, songs kill. Okay, that's stunning. So back to the, I guess these are digital edges. Digital edges we have. Okay, so it's this around the whole thing, but I'm really happy they did that because I actually really, really like this design and I don't think it needed to be, because this is so like much already. I don't think there needed to be much. You could have even done like, oh no, I was gonna say gold edges, but I really hate gilded edges. <laughs> gilded edges are like my least favorite, but I feel like the gold would almost look really good on this. So you could have done like a gold color, but no, I like this better. <laughs> so yeah, I love this. Here is the side. This is such a pretty cover. I'm so glad they went with this like mermaid water uh, theme. I love it. A duty to protect, a desire to kill, an impossible love. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, this is definitely one that I had on my book list of ones that I was excited about. And I thought this one sounded so good. Okay, so we have artwork. I love this. I love when they do this. So you basically have a cover on the inside that you can also just... Oh my gosh, I love this. It's like you're underwater with the fishes and I love it and I sound like an idiot right now, but I am so excited. This looks like a fairy tale cover. I love it with the moon overhead and the fish and the bottom of the sea. It feels like you're down there and there's like a shipwreck somewhere or something. I love this so much. And then we have the side, which is just, I mean, this is so pretty. I This might be how I, how I display it, even though I like both so much. Like I hate... I hate when both are like really good because then I'm like, which one do I display? But I, I don't know. And I love the moon. Like that's so pretty. It's so bright. It looks like it's glowing how it was painted, like how it was designed. It actually looks like the book is glowing, which is really cool. Yeah, I love this. I, lo I love this. I love this. I think I like the inside better. This is probably how I'll display it because that's just like so pretty <laughs> so on the inside we have some beautiful everything about this just has like the aesthetic that i love the turquoises the blues the gold ugh. it's just so pretty and then moonlight i love anything that has to do with the moon it's so pretty this is stunning artwork i absolutely love it uh, and again it looks like the moon is glowing it looks like if i turn the lights off it would be glowing which Obviously, it's not, and I'm too lazy to get up, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> and then we continue with the gorgeous artwork. 
Uh, it's just so pretty. <laughs> and there's a different version of the moon. So that's interesting. I wonder how much the moon has to do with the story. I'm very curious about that. Uh, the artwork is just so good on this. This this is amazing. This definitely knocked it out of the park, how they designed this one. So we have the signed page. And I think that's going to be it for the book. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. Love it. Could not have done a better job on this. Let's talk about what the book is about. Oh no. Oh no. It's one of those Irish names. Hold on. Okay. Looked up a pronunciation. Because they have that like really famous actress that has the name Saoirse. So, uh... Whew, I was glad <laughs> there's a pronunciation for that. That one always tricks me up because I see it and my brain immediately says it one way and I'm like, I know that's wrong. That is like super, super wrong. So Sersha Sarkova survives on secrets. As the last siren in her kingdom, she can sing any man to an early grave. But her very existence is illegal and if her true identity were ever discovered, it would be her life on the line. By day, Sersha disguises herself as a fae, pretending to be the perfect soldier in training. Okay, this is cool because this isn't taking com like taking place completely underwater. This is like a siren on land trying to survive, which is different. I feel like that's different from some of a lot of the mermaid stories that I've read. By night, she satisfies her darker urges working as an assassin for dangerous mercenaries. And all the while, she keeps the biggest secret of all, that she is not always in control of her siren powers or her desire to kill. Then a blackmailer threatens her sister and Saoirse's investigation takes her to the royal palace in her most dangerous job yet, personal bodyguard to the crown prince. Sersha expects to despise Prince Hayes, but he is kind, thoughtful, and charming, and she finds herself increasingly drawn to him, until he tasks her with investigating a killer plaguing the kingdom. The problem, the killer is Sersha. I'm loving this. <laughs> I'm loving this. Trapped by her deadly double life, Sersha can't leave the palace until she saves her sister, but who will save her from herself? Featuring an all-black and brown cast, a forbidden romance, and a compulsively dark plot full of twists, this seductive young adult fantasy is perfect for fans of The Cruel Prince and To Kill a Kingdom. I love this. I love this. This is so cool. I also like that the main, like, race is fae. That's a lot different. So she is, well, I guess it could be humans, but there are, like, just fae around... And that's really interesting. That's not like a normal thing, I feel like, in, in books like this. So she's not impersonating a human. She's impersonating a fate. This, this is really cool. <laughs> okay, I am incredibly excited to read this. And I'm just like, ah, I'm so torn. Because I love, like, if they hadn't had the center, like, piece. Like, this is what makes it, like, look so cool. So, so, so cool. Because this is just like, it's kind of very similar to one of their, oh, what is it called? I, I don't remember. I don't remember the author name. But there's a, a, Illumicrate did a cover that was similar to this. But it didn't have this in the middle. And that's what makes it so freaking cool. So I'm just torn. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. They're both so pretty. That's. That's annoying. That's so annoying. Okay, let's talk about some... Oh, wait, yeah, Fairy Scoot first. Dang it. I was hoping this was going to be a standalone. Like, it kind of reads like a standalone, but there is going to be a sequel. Oh, and she says, without giving away spoilers, there's a lot of forced proximity, but I won't say with who. <laughs> That's fun. And then there's some 2023 releases that I'm pretty excited about. So that is everything in there. The read-along will start July 24th. Oh, your edition of Sing Me to Sleep comes with an exclusive redesigned cover, a digital author signature, digitally sprayed edges, character artwork on the end papers, full color foil design on the hardcover. Full design on the hardcover. I would not call that foil design. Oh, I guess, okay, it is. <laughs> because it's like matte for some reason, like I didn't notice. It's not like, like in your face foil design. It is just like a very subtle foil okay so that makes sense now and then we'll talk about the spoilers for next month after we talk about the spoilers for this month all right to the spoiler card we have the ceramic plate designed by michaela alcano design and it is the adventures of amina al sarafi by s.a chakraborty we have the tea strainer designed by blanca design the design is inspired by daughter of the pirate king by trisha levenseller we have the collectible mythology bookmarks by grace z zuart Unveiling the Water Deities, Poseidon and Ocean. These bookmarks mark the grand finale of our breathtaking mythology collection. Oh no, it's the last one. I'm <laughs> so sad. Okay, so it was Poseidon and Ocean. Okay, I'm literally 
listening to the Stephen Fry mythology book and they're just getting into the section about oceans. So that's actually really exciting that I now have a bookmark about it and we are talking about it. Cushion cover designed by After Blossom underscore art. It is featuring art from The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axio. Reusable cotton face pads designed by Blanca Design. And yeah, it's just a general uh, ocean theme. Tarot cards of the month are Achilles as the Nine of Stars and Patrocles as the Ten of Stars. Characters are from Song of Achilles. Okay, so I at least was right with that. I feel like that one was pretty obvious. <laughs> the featured book of the month was Sigma to Slate by Gabby Burton. Dark and seductive young adult fantasy. Exclusive edition has all the things I talked about. The end papers are designed by J Hoka. J Hoka. Full colored foil on the hardcover by Blanca Design, and it has a s digital signature. Don't forget to read the author letter and check out the character print by Hacha Hach Andraz. <laughs> These handles are so <laughs> hard to say because you're like. What does it say? How am I supposed to say it? So I, I, I don't know how you say that one, but uh, yeah, really exciting. Love it. So I think my favorite item of, oh man, bookmarks or plate? Bookmark, bookmark or plate? I think the plate wins because I have a ton of bookmarks and I really like them, but I love getting plates. That's like a really weird, maybe it's just like me being an adult for once, but I love getting plates. I think they're so much fun. I use all of them and yeah, I, I love getting the plates. And this is a little bit of a bigger one, which is really nice. Least favorite item would have to be the tea strainer just because I don't like drink tea that much and I have like a really nice tea strainer already, so I don't really like use these ones that I normally get in boxes unless they're like really cute. So this one's kind of like, this one's a t-shirt that's kind of a pass for me. So that one's an ant item for me. And I just, I have so many from book boxes because it became very popular to put in book boxes for a while. So I'm just iffy on that. But overall, really like this box. I pretty much liked everything in it. Everything is very usable, which is very nice. And I will definitely be using those face pads. I'm pretty excited about that to see how those work. So that is everything for that. Let's talk about next month, which I believe, I'm pretty sure I already know what it is because I think this is the double with Owl Crate, I wanna say. So next month's theme, July, is Cruel Intentions. You can expect items inspired by Only a Monster, One Dark Window, The Wicker King, and two other fandom neutral items. We're thrilled to reveal this box will include our next secret book designed by Chatty Nora. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's another box with five items. That's interesting. Yeah. Our feature book of the month is a fantasy noir where a descendant of the Greek faiths must solve a series of impossible murders. So that is going to be the double with Alcrate's June box. And that's exciting. I'm really curious what they're going to do for it because if you don't know... Al Crate knocked it out of the park with that. So go check out that unboxing if you haven't seen it yet because that book is stunning looking. <laughs> it is so nice. So I'm really curious if Fairy Loot is going to uh, do something that will live up to that one. The book will have an exclusive cover with lots of foil de details, reversible dust jacket by Blanca Design, digital spray to edges on all three edges, foil on the hardcover, artwork on the end papers, different front and back, and will be signed by the author. Oh, they like went all out for this. I wonder if they knew that Alcrate was going to do it. So they like were like, we got to make ours better. <laughs> we got to make ours better. But I know they order these like way in advance. So I, I somehow doubt it. This edition is very unique and different from our norm. I don't know if I've ever said that before. That's interesting. Okay, that is everything in the box. That's the spoilers for next month. Very excited. I can't wait to see what that looks like. And I'm really excited for this book. This is a book I was going to pick up anyway. I love when that happens. I love when the book boxes pull through and give me a book I already want. That is fantastic. Most of the time it's true because I, I read, if you don't know already, most of my channel is young adult fiction. So I love me some young adult fantasy books. I do read a lot of adult mystery thriller, but it's definitely a lot of young adult fantasy, which is why I get these boxes because I love them. They're so entertaining. So anyway, that's everything I got for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed the box. Let me know what you guys thought about the box in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more unboxings. I'm getting quite a few boxes, I think, coming in this week because I was away for a week, so they're all probably gonna deliver today. <laughs> so I definitely have like Illuminate unboxings coming up. Uh, some Fox and Wit stuff coming up. I think what I might do is combine my uh, young adult adult box and my two Fox and Wit books into a, into a video together, a very, very short, like 10 minute video just to show them off. 
And then I know I have, I think I said a Luma crate already. And I got a uh, Twisted Retreat should be coming as well as part of my rep deal with them for the, for, what is it? What is it? May, June, and July. Yeah, I keep thinking it's August. I keep skipping <laughs> saying June or July for some reason. But yeah, May, June, and July. So make sure you uh, subscribe so you see those. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.